Hey collective, let's get some messages for the 13th. So this is July 2022 and there's a full moon in Capricorn today. So happy full moon in Capricorn. It's a buck moon, full moon in July. So let's get some messages for the collective. Please go ahead and concise messages on a three. Thank you again. <coughs> All right, what's the situation today, Collective? What's going on? All right, so we have the single lady card. Technically, that's what this Nine of Pentacles is known as. So this could be you um, as the viewer, or this could be someone, you know, the situation. This is around this type of person, or this personality, or this, you know, stereotypical energy, right? So self-made energy, this is, doing really well for yourself, being in a really good position financially, health-wise, all around, generally speaking, you have a lot of um, hard work that's paying off here for you. So you're self-established and it's very admirable and it's very attractive. All right, so what are your thoughts? What are the other person's thoughts about the situation? There's a lot of comfort and warmth. Um, yeah, and like prized possessions and stuff like that. That's indicated here in the Nine of Pentacles as well. All right, what are your thoughts? You or the other person's thoughts about this situation? Wow, star card coming out in the thoughts. So this could be a wish come true. Um, yeah, it's funny when I was shuffling, I was getting this feeling of um, hard work paying off. So someone could be seeing this or you could be maybe envisioning this. Or you could be living this, right? So this is a dream come true here around self, again, self-promotion. This is self-sustainability, right? And yeah, self-made energy, essentially. So with the star card showing up here in the thoughts about this situation, this is definitely you taking off, you know, energetically here into possibly, as I say, wish, wish fulfillment. You could be dealing with groups of people here and it could be a sudden change or have to do with sudden changes um, as Uranus and eccentricity is indicated here in the star card. But there's healing and hope and humanity indicated here in the star card. It's got a lot of power. It's very influential. It's very sparkling and inspiring. It's also fixed energy, so this it's almost like this fixation is very, very good for you, this development, very focused behavior, thinking everything in one direction, 
So all that hard work in the past few weeks seems to have paid off, sort of making up our minds collective, right? Seems to have made all the difference. So what are your feelings? You are the other person's feelings about the situation. I think there's um, romantic idealism here as well, if this is a love reading for you, love or romance. Um, romantic idealism can be considered here, particularly with the star card showing up in the thoughts about the situation. So idealistic thoughts about this person or situation or personality. All right, feelings. What are your feelings? Who are the other person's feelings about the situation? thoughts about the situation as well and today the situation is the nine of pentacles it's big thinking right there's this it's going to impact there's a big ripple effect situation that's happening here in the mind in thinking about this situation wow i believe that turned over and then back over again weird <laughs> let's get the feelings you are the other person's feelings about the situation There's a lot of intelligence here as well. High intelligence, high ideals. All right, feelings. What are the feelings? You are the other person's feelings about the situation. I always say, guys, if you don't like the shuffling, just scroll ahead there. I won't mind. <laughs> All right, so I, it's so weird. I felt this manifestation energy, of course, because the focus would have already been under play underway rather or in play so it's very interesting we have this in this heart minor blockades just because it's slightly regressive progressive would be this way um but nonetheless it's upright so we have in this heart space manifestation power uh, talk about focus talk about mental focus now we have aquarius and mercury right gemini energy showing up here so Wow, the focus is laser, laser beam. And here in the heart, the feelings about this, there's no stopping this. It wouldn't even matter if that was reversed. It would just be that something is just delayed. But it's not. This is mind over matter. <laughs> because this is now in your heart space about a situation. So you can create, there's a creatrix energy here, even though we don't see the empress yet. We may or may not, um, but I'm getting a lot of empress vibes. In fact, it has been said that the nine of pentacles is sort of the minor arcana of um, energy of the empress, um, despite there being four queens, right? Because she encapsulates all four queens, but Thus is the power of the energy of this Nine of Pentacles. She's that rich. She's that um, uh, respected and um, confident and well off. She has enough 
to delight in and to maybe even create hobbies <laughs> around, right? This is a person who has time to train, you know, birds. She's, um, you know, a bird trainer and she can have hobbies. So it's a very attractive energy. And you or the other person in their heart space here is incredibly focused if if for not the entire just one card per position here how focused <laughs> this reading tends to be right now so very powerful energy right now mind over matter is um i think it may be surprising to you in a way or to us right i'm collective too in the sense of how this is coming to fruition how something is coming about fully through the power of manifestation and will. So, you know, all of the behavior, not just the thinking, uh, we need to move and work and invest um, and plan. And thus is the outcome here, the rewards, if you were, if, if you will. So really stunning energy. Let's get most probable outcome for this situation. Most probable outcome. Yeah, you could be dealing with the Gemini here mastering your skills, mastering skills around your feelings about perhaps even your own health or wealth or both. Or as I say, that special female, that special woman, that single lady. There could be something regarding the dreams here as well, like something from your dreams or bringing a dream to life, following through on a dream. I only take facing up cards, guys, so we're just going to wait for um, facing up jumpers. All right, what's the most probable outcome for this situation? Wow. Holy smokes. Okay. Majors galore. <laughs> okay. I just, I might just title this video excitement and then just like nine exclamation points. <laughs> this is very exciting. Um, yeah. In caps, two majors closing off the reading. Most probable outcome to the situation, the lovers and the hermit. Okay more mercury energy showing up but now we have a major decision which direction and this guy's the loner he's isolated but this is about a couple and there's manifestation around this happiness so you know this luxury here so if you aren't coupled or this isn't a lover romance reading for you, this is definitely about you finding your bliss within a decision that you're making going your own way. There's a great skill set here that you've learned as well um, about love itself. There is a very magical quality to everything that's going on here. It could feel that way. There could be magic in the air. If you don't like the word magic, you can use something else that just indicates maybe something fantastic. <clears throat> very interesting. Um, I see a very positive energy today. 
this is quite stunning, particularly around new beginnings, around being heard, felt, seen, understood, um, connected, learning from mistakes, being able to get over mistakes really quickly here. But a decision, that hermit looking right at this lover's, this big decision here, is now we have, as I say, this solitary man, this older man, probably. Um, and we have mature energy, right? All of these are mature adults here. So, um, this is a major decision around possibly going after someone in particular. You know, the decision to not be alone here, right? And to change that dynamic for yourself in pursuit of that person or lifestyle. So leaving something behind here, leaving behind habits, right? Neuroses sometimes, uh, old patterns, complaints, these types of things. Higher awareness, higher love. Gorgeous energy for a most probable outcome here. For external energy, we have the Sun, Five of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. This Five of Swords looks so pathetic right here between these two fiery, brand new beginning, um, nothing can stop us energies. Again, we have more of that coming out with the Sun opposite of this new beginning. I'm just reading this Five of Swords right here between these guys is jealousy. I don't know what else to say. This is just like, this is just petty. Um, someone's, someone's gonna... Someone's just mad that they didn't get something here. Usually I would read the Five of Wands as competition, but I do feel like this is just like someone just won something here. A competition was won, a decision was made. One over the other, around a new beginning, right? Possibly a very happy new direction, and this Five of Swords doesn't stand a chance. It just looks silly and petty in between here, so... Don't be that petty part of this <laughs> conversation here. Let the other person, let those words hang in the air. And um, yeah, this will this will sort itself out. Someone who's not supposed to be in the picture will see themselves out here with regard to a new beginning. Very exciting energy, new life. If this is love or romance, this is very exciting sexual energy here as well. Um, I would perhaps communicate a little bit more effectively if you can, but something will be sorted out really rapidly here, particularly around um, leisure as well and creativity. More Leo energy showing up. Here we have strength, cancer ruled um, chariot. We saw her yesterday and then the page of pentacles. Wow. So you know, internal or subconscious energy here, we have just an absolute unstoppable new beginning. Here's that other, look at this, this little page. It's young energy, but this is growth, sustainable, powerful. These are gifts, right? Gifts, investments, um, loans, offers, possibly around cars, homes, travel is indicated twice here. Um, Leo, Cancer Leo season, I'm telling you, Lionsgate just is going to, August 8th is going to pop this year. I don't know how else to explain it. There's just a lot going on around that date. Um, that's Lionsgate and we're feeling it again. We saw these two cards together a couple of days ago and now we have an offer, creative juices. Um, but big time, it's going to take off. Um... Yes, a very small investment could very easily take off into something quite massive here. And we do have this energy self-promotion here with all the, say, technology and communication, which is indicated with the perfection and communication here and, you know, development possibly of the natural resources, right? So we have natural resource, um, uh, you know, vibes here as well. These are practical services or practical things being established or talked about or dreamed about here. So, you know, very lucky as well. I'm, I'm just getting so much luck here. You know, it's almost like it, there's no, you're too protected. 
I'm just trying to find the words, guys. I'm like, uh, how do I put this? You know, we have this, the, the lovers includes an actual angel. This is your higher voice. The sun is, you know, you know, the son of God, literally, like if the, on a spiritual aspect, right? In terms of, um, you know, words and the meaning of words. And this is, you know, laughter and joy and sun and happiness and life, pure life. And it's opposite of new life. So, yeah, someone's just mad about something or there's just a petty something or other there. That's just, that five is making me laugh in between all that power. <laughs> so, yeah, overall energy for the whole reading. Look at this. Knight of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. It's just that give and take, bouncing back and forth. I wouldn't accept anything less, particularly if it affects your heart, Pisces energy, dreams, romance, poetry, creativity. I would give 1% more than you've been giving something. That's it. Just do that like right away. Just give 1% more. And then before you know it, you'll be challenging yourself to give 1% more again. And then just do that again and again and again. And before you, right? Five times later, it's 5% more. So a little bit more every single time. Challenge yourself here. Follow through with your dreams. Write it down on paper here if you have to. Get something down. Get practical about something. Um, because the last thing you that we want to do here, collective, is let ourselves down because there's too much potential here. This is, yeah, unstoppable excitement. <laughs> this is beautiful. So thank you for sharing your energy with me. I love doing these readings for you. And as always, I hope it's helpful to someone out there. Until I see you in the next one, take care, everybody. Bye for now.